Hey everybody, this is David from Shine On Studio in Oakland, California. You can find us on the web at shineonstudio.com. And today I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to use some of the tools that Pro Tools gives you. Mainly the ones up here in the top, we're going to focus on a few of these. And the first one we're going to focus on is the tab to transient. Now this is a very important tool if you're doing a lot of looping or sampling. But if you have a whole bunch of takes like this, it's also a great tool. So I'll show you exactly what it does when it's unchecked. And it's this tool right here. So you can check it or uncheck it. Now, if it's unchecked and you hit the tab key on your keyboard, what it'll do is jump from one clip to the next clip. So notice up at the top here, watch the timeline insertion tool. It's going to jump from clip to clip as I hit tab. It's just going to keep jumping from clip to clip. Now, if it's checked, let me zoom in. What I'm going to do is take this fade off. I'm going to extend it. So we got a lot of dead space here before the singing starts coming in. So what I'm going to do is put the insertion tool here. And now with it checked, I'm going to hit tab. And what it's going to do is it's going to move to the next transient. So see how it jumps all this dead space? And then if you're in keyboard command focus over here, just hit the letter B as in boy. Separate your clip. You can highlight your space. You can mute it or delete it. And then you can put a little fade over the top here with your smart tool. So that's what tab to transient does. And the next one I'm going to show you right here is the link the timeline and edit selection. Now what that does is this cursor right here will move and it's going to take the uh, timeline marker right here as its starting point. So when I hit play well, it burns, it burns so bad. and now it's going to move the timeline if I unselect this, when I see you in the hall, the marker is going to move over here. However, the insertion tool is going to stay over here. So they're unlinked right now. So by clicking this, it's going to link where your playback and your marker is. To stay. Now, if you want this to follow that, you just click this. When I see you in the halls, you and that button links the two together. You can click this tool, and what this will do is it'll take your starting point and follow the insertion. So let's click it. Well, it burns, it burns. And when you hit stop, it's going to move your starting point to where you stopped playback. Now, if you don't want it to do that, you uncheck right here and it'll leave your starting point at the beginning of wherever you started playback so bad when I see you in the hall. it'll go right back but if you want it to follow click right here so bad. stop moves your starting point to there hit play again when I see you in the hall. stop moves your playback to starting point there hit play so those are just some tips and the one last tool I'm going to show you is to link your insertion and track selection. If you have a bunch of tracks and a bunch of audio, let me bring in some of these other audio tracks here. I've turned this on now. So when I move the insertion onto another track, notice how it highlights that track. So you can move your track up and down and you can also use the P or semicolon keys to move it and it'll also select that track that you're on so it'll show you where your insertion tool is and if you don't want it to do that just click right here uncheck it and then when you move it'll keep that track selected without moving it with the cursor this is David from shine on studio in Oakland California you can find us on the web at shineonstudio.com. If you have any questions or you'd like to sign up for Pro Tools lessons here at the studio, give us a call or visit the website www.shineonstudio.com. Thanks for watching. Well, it burns, it burns so bad when I 
Oh